please subscribe. We get behind the wheel of the Jaguar I pace concept for a glimpse of how electric power grid is set to shake up the market. Our brief drive didn't allow much dynamic evaluation, but the I pace looks set to deliver clever packaging and Jaguar's most scary cabin to date. With 350 deposits taken, and an anticipated 60,000 price tag undercutting the cheapest Tesla Model S, we already expect the I-Pace to be a hit. The Jaguar I-Pace is one of the most important vehicles to emerge from the British car maker in its 80-year history. With Tesla and BMW's I-Range in its sights, the striking edge will usher in the new dawn for Jaguar when the production version hits the streets in the second half of 2018. There is only one I pace in existence officially, at least and now Auto Express has spent some time with the concept, and even had a short spell behind the wheel. This is the same show car that was on Jaguar's stand in Los Angeles last November, but since then, its paint job has switched from sophisticated silver to an arresting shade of red. It has even more visual impact as a result, the shape is a radical departure from Jaguar's current model range, with a chunky, wide stance and a low and sleek hatchback silhouette. As we wait for our preview drive, Sandy Boys, one of the chief designers in the i project, tells us the car was the perfect opportunity for a blank sheet design, both in aesthetic and engineering terms. The electric powertrain gave us an opportunity to play with the proportions he says. The cab forward design is something genuinely different for us. The concept is 4,618mm long and 1,819mm wide, so it's smaller than the F-Pace, but because of the space freed up by the lack of an engine, the wheel base has been pushed out to nearly 3 meters, 126 mm more than the F-Pace and slightly longer than an XF2. However, Boyce claims that the tail elements are very Jaguar. Everything from the body surfacing to the tail lights is inspired by the current range, while the nose is said to take cues from a CX-75 supercar concept of 2010. The interior of the I-Pace is a similar blend of the revolutionary and familiar. The dash is flanked by three screens, two of them touch screens to control infotainment and driving functions. Atic feedback controls for the steering wheel feature, but although the climate control dials are also hated, they are physical knobs. Boys tells us this is primarily to create a balance of analog and digital for the driver, which will always remain a Jaguar trait. You slide across into the driver's seat of the I-Pace, instead of climbing up into it and sure enough, once you're there, the overall impression is that you're in a regular car instead of the high-riding self, that doesn't mean it feels cramped. Oh, the cabin is bright and pleasingly airy. And while we didn't get a chance to sit in the rear seats, there should be space for three adults in the production car. Practicality could be an I-Pace strength. Food space stands at 530 liters, and there's a small compartment where the engine would normally sit, with an additional 28 liters. We weren't able to exploit the road dynamics of this one-off concept, but we already know that a production I-Pace will have 395 bhp from a pair of synchronous electric motors, enabling four-wheel drive. A Tesla rivaling 062 mph time of around 4 seconds is promised, but I-Pace engineering manager Dave Shaw tells us that sprinting ability isn't the ultimate target. Our priority isn't just performance, he says, it's balancing performance with range in the most effective way possible. He promises an NEDC range of just over 300 miles from the 90kWh lithium-ion battery pack, and a recharge time of only 2 hours from a 50kWdc point.